Hey guys, it's Kristen and I am going to attempt to film my first reading vlog today. I'm a mom to five and you can see right now, oh, you can't see because it's backwards I think, but it is 12.48. I have some sick kids today they're not like terribly sick they just have earaches and some congestion and cold but needless to say we're not going anywhere so i thought it was a good day to get some reading done i just put the baby down for a nap she goes down about 12 30. i'm going to start fury born by claire lagrain lagrand no i'm not saying it but um first i gotta do some Planning. Let me turn you around. So, you can so here's my planning. I am using a clipboard that has my a month on it so I can put it on my camp family command center. I have a daily planner pad that I just fill out as I need to. I'm actually planning for tomorrow on it because today we're not really going anywhere. I have an undated, well the month spreads are dated, see, but it's just like a, it's from Target in the dollar section. It was, I can't get it to turn. Anyway, it's a just like a regular planner, but I, these are undated and blank, so I just fill out stuff I need to do throughout the day. So as I find things, I just get them on there and kind of bust through them. So this is my first part of my day. I did, however, this morning when I first woke up, finish Rump, The True Story of Rumpelstiltskin by Liesl Shirtliff. It was good. I liked it a lot. Um, I think I mentioned in a previous video that I'm going to have my 9, almost 10-year-old read it. Um, I'm drinking my morning meal it's a pro premier protein shake we went back to our low carb lifestyle after the carb holidays that we just finished and got some dishes i need to put away other than that i'm going to try and start fury born we'll see how much i can get done it's funny to me i mean maybe not to you guys but it's funny to me to watch a <laughs> reading vlog of someone with five kids because I'm probably not going to get to read near as much as some of you other. Okay, back to this. Um, we'll see how this goes, and I'll update you soon. I'm just now starting it. I'm kind of bummed because I didn't. I don't like to read series where the, all the books aren't out yet, but I just figured out that this is the only book out in the series. Hey, guys. Um, I just finished filming the very last part of my reading vlog for uh, Fearyborn. And I realized when I was going back that I never talked about what the book was about. So this book follows two characters, um, Ryo and Eliana. Those are the main characters. There's, you know, a cast of secondary characters that you will, you know, know well enough. But those are the two main characters. They're the two point of views you follow um, back and forth from. It is set in a fantasy world. Um, and... It starts off telling you about a prophecy of two queens to come. So you kind of are assuming that maybe one of them or both of them could be those queens. And it takes place in two different time periods, a thousand, maybe twelve hundred years apart from each other. And you're just really confused. You're like, how could this be? And uh, how could these be related? Because, you know, in the little teaser synopsis, it talks to you about their stories will intertwine. So you're just really puzzled about that. And, um, you know, the worlds are vastly different. They don't believe in the same religion. They don't have the same um, locations. Every, you know, it's very different. And so watching this story play out piece by piece to figure out how it all kind of connects together was really interesting. It's um, high fantasy, and it has um, magic, and it's elemental magic. There are seven elements that magic is drawn from, and it's a big part of the story on who has magic, why they have magic, how they use their magic, how they control their magic, um, and it was very interesting. Hey, I'm checking in. It's like um, three hours later, and I finally got through the first 40 pages of Furyborn. Um, that's how long it takes me to read around here. It is um, told right now at least in two perspectives. So I... Um, there's a diaper behind me. <laughs> Throw that diaper away, please, lie. 
Um, it is told in two perspectives, and I have gotten through each perspective one time. So I like it so far, but uh, we'll see. Hey guys, I'm checking in. It's uh, almost bedtime for me. The kids have been in bed for a little while, and I'm starting the bulk of my reading time. Um, I'm about, I think I'm about 80 pages farther than when we talked earlier. Um, it's, it's still pretty good. Um, I said it earlier, it's told from two point of views. One is Rael and the other is, oh, I forgot her name already. I think it's Eliana. Yeah, Eliana. And I definitely have my favorites. Oh, there's the kitty come to see me while I talk. But, um, I definitely have my favorite. I wish I could just, like, skip all the other chapters and just read straight through one of them and then go back and read the other one. But I have a feeling that there's a reason I'm reading it in the order that I am, so. I plan to read some more tonight before I go to bed. And if I can do that, then I may be able to finish the book in about three days. That's pretty good for a 500-page book. In fact, we put the baby to bed a long time ago, and was pretty sure she was asleep and then all of a sudden we heard her giggling and talking in bed and one of the kitties had joined her in her crib and she was just petting it and having fun so my husband had to go take it away and now she's crying hopefully she'll go back to sleep soon i'll check in with you tomorrow morning and tell you where i'm at so it's the next morning and i'm in the car hold on um, I'm checking in. We are waiting in the car while my second daughter does gymnastics. She's on a competitive team and they have practice this morning. It's very cold where I live in Texas today and so we're all kind of cooped up in the in the beast of a van that we have trying to pass the few hours that she's here. It's hard. I could do it alone and just read the whole time but I have all the other little people with me and they don't want to just read so we are trying to figure out what to do. I am about Ow. Um, 75 pages more than I was when I checked in with you last, and I really like it. <laughs> I still prefer one of the points of view over the other. Here's the baby. Don't hit the baby. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. Don't pull hair, okay? Look, Poppy, you want to say hi? Oh, there's evidence on your fingers of the hair that you pulled out, huh? Anyway, I still like one of the point of views better than the other, but it's switching, I think. I think I prefer the other point of view more now. All right, I'll check in with you later. We're at gymnastics, waiting to pick up the big sister. We're not all happy about it. I've read... I've read a few more pages of Fury Born. I'm now past the 200 page mark and I'm really liking it. Hey guys, checking in. It is um, reading vlog night two, which happens to be Thursday night. And I am pulling out Fury Born. <laughs> one hand, it's hard. I'm on chapter 21, which is page 210. And that means I've read think about uh, 40 pages since I checked in last and I'm at 100 pages for the day I plan to read five more chapters tonight which will get me to um, halfway through the book I um, I like this book a lot it follows Rael and Eliana and they live in completely different centuries even um, and we have not seen yet how they connect, but the, um, you know, synopsis tells us they will connect. I started out really, sorry if you can hear them, I have um, a niece and a nephew spend the night tonight. I um, have, I really liked Rael best at first, but I think I've switched over to Eliana. Okay, I'm back. So what I was saying was, uh, we follow Rael and Eliana, and um, it's hard because they're both hard to like characters. I like the story a lot, but I, you can, you cannot like the two main characters. They're both really hard and cocky, and 
not a lot of like compassion or empathy, which is my personality. So I have a lot easier time, um, you know, getting along with that kind of person. So it's hard. I finished my, to page 250, um, the five more chapters I was hoping to read tonight. Um, I have a reading companion here, Miss Olive. And then right there, my husband's sleeping and right there on his back, you can barely see it, is the other kitty. It's quite sweet that they decided to cuddle up with us while we sat in the living room and listened to the crazy children upstairs. Back to reading. So I'm cooking lunch with my messy counters behind me. See, macaroni and cheese. And I um, haven't had a lot of time to read today because I've had kids over, we played with a marble run, I filmed an unboxing video, but as soon as I make my macaroni and cheese, I'm going to lock the baby in her high chair, give her some, and read some Furyborn. I'm over halfway done, and I hope to finish it by tomorrow. Hey guys, it's um, my hopefully last day of reading Furyborn. Um, I think it's day four. Four? Yeah, I think it's day four. Um, I'm not feeling awesome. Neither are some of the kids. Uh, just like the cold junk that's going around this time of year. Um, one of my kids is playing with marble runs. So it's like, bong, 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 bong. Anyway, um, I'm gonna, I have a little bit less than 100 pages left. And I'm excited to get it done. So I'll check back in with you in a bit. Hey guys, I finished Furyborn. Sorry, I can't see it very good. I'm trying to hide my messy counter behind me where I'm sitting. And it's nighttime, so the lighting's bad. We're also, um, my husband's right there. And my kitty cat's running around right here. Come here, kitty. We just sent the kids to bed, so we're kind of exhausted from the day of parenting. Um, we're watching the Cowboys play right now. They're playing in the playoffs. Um, but... Let's talk Furyborn. So I saw a bunch of bad reviews on Goodreads and I was, I don't really like Goodreads. I think it's kind of where whiny people go. Like if you really hated the book, you go there cause you're like, oh, I'm gonna complain about it. And if you really loved a book, you wanna go there and like swoon over it. So I don't feel like people's reviews are, you know, what I would trust because only, you know, the squeaky wheel gets heard. But so I saw a lot of people talking about why should I care about these characters? Um, that Claire Legrand, Legrand didn't compel me enough with the characters. And so I was kind of, it just kind of re after I finished the book and I liked it, I feel the same way. I feel like Goodreads kind of ruins it. So I don't want to read Goodreads reviews before I read a book anymore. I did see a couple of reviews from booktubers that I liked that also said similar things, but they all kind of came to the conclusion that they liked the book enough to read the next one, so I'm not going to fault them for that. Now, what I did like about the book, I think I told you earlier in my reading vlog that I liked Rael's point of view first, and then um, as time went on, I started liking Eliana's more, and towards the end when it was getting really um, intense, I was like getting lost in each story. So I would be like, oh, I don't want to stop reading about Rael. I don't want to go to Eliana right now. And then I'd get to Eliana and I'd be like, oh yeah, this was important too. And I'd read that. And so she, I think the author did a good job. She made it where we didn't want to leave. And you know, going back and forth between every other chapter being someone else really broke the story up well leaving you on a cliffhanger almost every single time. Um, it definitely makes me want to read the second book. I know that there's a lot left to be told in this story, so I'm waiting on King... King Spain? King, some, King something is the next book in the series. It doesn't come out till May, I don't think, but I'm anxiously awaiting it. Overall, it's good. I think I'll probably rate it a four. I hope you enjoyed the reading vlog. And I know I enjoyed reading it. I think the vlog helped me get it done faster. So I'll definitely do this in the future. Thanks, guys. Bye.